Okay, there we go. It's time for children's stories. So all of our little ones, look for those dollars, tens, twenties, whatever they may be up in those hands. Today's offering goes towards CVCA's student fund. Something I think a lot of us have a heart for here. Many of us went through CVCA, MAA, MUA, whatever you may have called it then. I'm one. Um, my husband's another. Our children go there. Our parents and grandparents and on and on. So we hold it dear to our hearts. And this money is for those. Maybe there's somebody out there today that says, I want to go to CVCA. That sounds like a great school. Well, this is for them. This is so that kids who want to go to the academy have the ability to do so. So wave those dollars high. We want to see as many kids as possible this next school year at CVCA. Welcome to all of these beautiful faces. Now, I know you guys have been hearing this a lot, a lot, a lot, but what do we celebrate tomorrow? We already heard it. Father's Day, right? Father's Day. Father's Day for a lot of us is a very happy and fun event, but my story today is about a little boy who maybe it wasn't as happy for him. Joey sat there in class. He was twiddling his thumbs. It was the last week. They were getting ready to go on summer break. Oh, he couldn't wait. Summer break, summer break, summer break. Oh, Joey was in second grade. He was getting ready to go in third grade. Do I have any kids that age here? Any big kids? Maybe some in between, huh? A little older, a little younger, but oh, he couldn't wait. And then teacher got out and she showed the kids every day. They would do arts and crafts every Friday before class got out. But this Friday, teacher said she had something special. She reminded the kids of the beautiful flowers they had made for Mother's Day just a few weeks prior. And this year, she said she felt bad. Dad's always got forgot because Father's Day is in June and school is out. But this year, she said, we're going to make special clay sculptures for our dads and some special cards for them. It doesn't have to be dad. It could be uncle, grandpa, any man in your life. Think of someone special you want to make your clay sculpture and card for. And then you're going to hide it away. And in a few weeks on Father's Day, you could give it to them as a gift. Oh, the kids started looking at the clay and they thought, ooh, John thought, I'll make my dad a lion. He loves lions. And Jill looked at the clay and she thought, ooh, my dad loves football. I'm going to make him a clay football. And all the kids started thinking, but Joey just kind of sat quietly at his desk. He was kind of sad. You see, Joey's dad had been in the military. And a few years prior, he'd lost his life serving our country, which was a great thing, but Poor Joey, he missed him so much. And days like Father's Day reminded him dad wasn't around anymore. Mom's dad had passed away before Joey was even born. And dad's dad, he didn't know very well. He lived in another state and he'd get great birthday and fa or, um, Christmas cards from grandpa, but they weren't very close. And Joey just didn't know who he could make his special gift for. Teacher came up and she said, Joey, I, I know dad's not around, but What's another special man in your life? Joey started thinking. Well, there was this guy at church, Mr. Tom. He always, every Sabbath, would call Joey over. Hey, lad, 
got something for you. Joey would come over because he knew that Mr. Tom had a candy in his pocket. And he'd get it out and give it to Joey. And Joey would run back to mom and pop the candy in his mouth and listen to the sermon. Mr. Tom was a really nice guy, and he thought he'd like to do something special for him. And he thought, well, Mr. Tom always gives me candy. I'm going to make candy for him. So he took all different colors of the clay, and he wound them up and made it look like a lollipop. And then he put a stick at the bottom, and ooh, all the kids thought that was a great idea. Wow, Joey, where'd you learn to do that? He showed them all how he did it. Even teacher was impressed. She gave him some cellophane and a bow to make it look like a real lollipop. Now Joey was getting kind of happy. He couldn't wait to give Mr. Tom his gift. He went home after school and showed mom the card he'd made for Mr. Tom and the special gift. And mom bought a special bag to put it all in. Each Sabbath, Joey sat patiently thinking, it's almost Father's Day weekend. It's almost Father's Day weekend. He was so excited to give Mr. Tom his gift. And the card, the card, he drew a picture of him and Mr. Tom on the front. And on the inside, he wrote, because you make me happy every Sabbath, I wanted to make you happy this Sabbath. Well, the day finally came. It was the Sabbath before Father's Day. Joey had his little gift bag and card. And when he went inside, sure enough, there was Mr. Tom. Hey, lad, come on over. Joey went over and gave him his candy. But this time, Joey had something to give to Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom looked inside and smiled. And then he looked at the card and tears started forming in his eyes. Joey said, I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? Oh, no, this is a wonderful gift. He gave him a great big hug. Well, that Sabbath also just happened to be potluck Sabbath. And so after Sabbath, Joey went and gave Mr. Tom another hug. Did you like my gift? Oh, yes, very much. Mr. Tom told Joey's mom about how he'd lost his wife a few years ago. They love kids so much, but they weren't able to have any of their own. And so he always loved to watch his wife hand out candies to the kids in church. And when she passed, he started doing it. And he saw that he made an impact in Joey just by giving him little candy and it warmed his heart. Well, after that, mom and Joey adopted Mr. Tom into their life as an adopted grandpa. He would come to Christmas and Thanksgiving, to Joey's birthday parties. And every Father's Day, Joey did something special for Mr. Tom. Father's Day became a special day for Mr. Tom and for Joey, two guys who thought that they had nothing to look forward to on Father's Day. I want you guys to think about not just the men in your life, the dads, the grandpas, the uncles, but all the men, the men here at church when Father's Day comes, let them know how special and loved they are to you. Some people, like Joey, they don't have a physical dad here in life anymore. But you know what? God tells us in his word that he's our father. He's father to everybody. We can read, let me get to it here, in Psalms. Aha. Psalm 68, 5 says, he's a father to the fatherless, a defender of the widow, is God in his holy habitation. He is father to all of us. So those who maybe don't have a father here on earth, he said, that's okay. I'm your daddy. And then in Matthew 7, and this is a long one because it's 7 to 12, it says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened unto you. I know you can't see behind the screen anymore, but that's what that lovely stained glass reminds us of. Jesus is knocking on the door of our hearts and saying, let me in. It says, for everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and him who knocks it will be open. Or what man is there among you? If his son asks for bread, we'll give him a stone. That doesn't seem nice, huh? Or if he asks him for a fish, he gives him a serpent. If you then, being evil, that means we humans, we're filled with sin. We're not as good as God. Know how to give good gifts to your children. 
how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good gifts to you who ask it of him? God loves us, and he wants to give us all kinds of wonderful gifts. The first that he gave to all of us is life, and he gave us life that we may live it abundantly. So I hope as you go home this weekend that you will show love to all those wonderful men in your lives. Now, I do have something over here for you guys that if you forgot to make dad a gift, maybe you're like, oh no, Father's Day's not coming up, it's tomorrow, and I didn't make anything. I have something you can make for dad, and then that's for my other helpers. And I have some special helpers, too, who are going to pass out to the men a special gift. Thank you all.